so Stone Daisy Brewery really came about following a, a kind of wider aspiration to produce um, fantastic English single malt whiskies. So um, back in 2021-22, we started focusing on uh, building and creating this kind of whiskey distillery, uh, which is great. Now, whiskey starts life uh, as beer wash. Um, uh, one of my co-founders, Eddie, he's, uh, he's a brewer by, uh, by trade um, after his stint in the forces. Um, and he's an award-winning brewer um, by right. So, we thought it was a fantastic opportunity to create this story around uh, around our, our, our whiskies by having award-winning beer. So Stone Daisy was created, um, and it's it's about seven seven to eight months old now and going really really well. I'm one of the founders of Stone Daisy Brewery and the Witchmark Distillery. Um, we've been brewing our own beer here since December 2022, um, but it actually started earlier for me. I had a previous brewery here, um, which I started when I left the army in 2006. The, the, the process for brewing uh, for us actually starts well beyond the brewery here. Um, our uh, barley, which is a main ingredient uh, of beer, um, is grown locally. Uh, comes uh, to us via Warminster maltings, which is the oldest remaining um, traditional maltings in the country. Um, and so very, very few food miles. Uh, everything is has local provenance. And therefore, what comes out of here, taste of Wiltshire. So we, we actually produce three uh, beers uh, in our range. Uh, we've kept it simple uh, to start with. Uh, we produce uh, what I call a social pale ale. So it's a 3.8% uh, pale beer, nice uh, light fruitiness that comes through, very refreshing. Um, we have a traditional best bitter. Um, it's more of the pint of the usual um, that uh, it, it is our biggest seller. Um, and we supply a lot of that to, to, the, to local pubs. And finally, we have um, my version of an India Pale Ale, an IPA. Um, a traditional IPA would have been very strong, about 6% plus, and have a huge amount of hops in it. Um, so my IPA is 4.2%, uh, uh, sorry, 4.5% ABV. Um, it has enough hops in it uh, so that you know you've got a bit of hops there, but it's not dry and astringent like some uh, IPAs. They're delicious to taste a pint, but you don't want a second. So ours is very much a Moorish 4.5% uh, IPA. You can have a couple of them without uh, getting too troubled. Uh, this is my favorite. Snail creep honey. <laughs> yeah, I like it because it's hoppy and um, rich aroma and taste with crystal malt and uh, five types of hops. Yeah, that's, this is my favorite. <laughs> uh, Stone Daisy Brewery uh, is based at Berry St. Leonard at Font Hill. Um, and each of the beer names is named after one of the fields at Font Hill. Um, so Cowdown um, is one of the fields uh, uh, up uh, towards the north of the estate. Uh, Snail Creep Hanging, uh, it's a very odd sounding name, but it's uh, a, a name of a field uh, up in Great Ridge. It's on an old Roman road. Um, and there's a, a colony of snails um, up at Snell Creep Hanging, um, which uh, is the only one in, in, in the UK, and people believe that uh, they came with the Romans. And finally, Park Bottom um, is down at the bottom of Font Hill Park, uh, near the cricket club, down by the lake. Um, so all the, all the places, uh, all, all the beers are named after places here on Font Hill Estate. Extremely proud, you know, we've worked very hard for a while to get to this point, so to be recognised by what is a fairly sizeable industry leader um, is, is, is fantastic, you know, and I think it does do testament to the beer that we're producing. You know, we try to be as ethical as, as, ethical as possible. The beer is obviously selling well, it's being well retained uh, across, across the southwest county, so, you know, we're really, uh, we're really pleased. We're up against some pretty stiff competition as well. So, you know, for a young, relatively new brewery, we're certainly holding our own, which is great. From, from Stone Daisy's perspective, we will always be focused on the southwest. I, you know, uh, we, are, we are who we are. I don't think we have any major aspirations to be this big, this big national brewery um, you know we are selling very well in the southwest and that's where we see our focus uh, which mark on the other hand we certainly have national aspirations for our for our spirits um, so in the first kind of uh, the first three years at least it'll be our gins our vodkas our botanical spirits come year three um, our single malts and our blended whiskies will be ready and we'll be looking at um, the international market uh, for those as well so you know we have we have we have high hopes for our spirits um, and uh, uh, yeah we're, we're, we're you know we're pretty close to um, to commencing those cheers, cheers guys cheers. <laughs>